Yo, what is up, YouTube? Watch this play real quick right here. The ball's in my right hand. Boom. It looks like it teleports into my left hand before I drive in slow motion. Look, right hand. Boom. Immediately to the left hand. This guy, of course, thinks I'm going right because the ball is in my right hand, but I'm able to go left with it. Same thing right here. You see this guy. That guy's a center. This guy's a lot smaller. He should have some more speed, but he just backs up, so I just quickly go to the left. Boom, shoot my midi again in slow motion. You could do this from the right hand or the left hand. I prefer to go left most of the time, but I just immediately hit him with the size up. Go to my spot. He's playing the paint, so I am not afraid to pop that midi. This is the Derrick Rose size up in NBA 2K21. And you see the same play right after I do that. This time he's playing the midi, so I'm just going to go right to the paints. This is probably the best size up in NBA 2K21. Now, I will say there is a lot of different size ups in this game that are good. Uh, you know, some games only have a couple. There is a lot in this game. The only thing you need to get this size up is an 80 ball control. You see, I have a 92, so I am well past that. Once you get 80 ball control, you have access to every size up in the game. And the signature size that we're talking about today is Derrick Rose. If you guys remember last year, and you see I got a whole lot I'm trying, I'll definitely be making more videos on different ones. Let me know if you guys want to see that. But you only need that size up to do this animation. Here's my dribble moves if you want to copy them down. You can use those to chain, uh, chain moves with the Derrick Rose size up, but this size up is effective by itself. But if you guys remember in NBA 2K20, the Steph Curry size up where he could quickly teleport the ball to his other hand, that is kind of what this Derrick Rose is. You see, if you hold up on the right joystick, you're going to get the whole size up animation. A lot of people don't know about that. They don't know that, you know, size ups are back in the game. You know, last year you couldn't hold up on the stick. This year you can. But the thing that makes this size up so effective is if you hold up just for a second, let the ball go to the other hand, and then you can take off that way. You get a crazy speed boost, as you see I'm doing right here. If you guys are looking for a size up and you haven't tried this one, put it on. Go to your my court, test it out. It's super easy to get down. Like I said, all you got to do is hold up on the right joystick. You'll see the ball teleport to the other hand and you can take off that way for a speed boost now you can let the whole animation play it as you see i'm doing here you see i wait till it goes to the left hand right hand it's a little bit tougher to actually get the speed boost because you got to time it perfectly you know you can't let the ball be in your left hand and go right you know that's not going to give you the fast speed boost you will still get a burst of speed out of it of course especially if you had quick first step on hall of fame but it's not going to be as effective as the regular speed boost now, one thing I love to do, what a lot of people like to do, is if you curry slide and then you press up on the right joystick to get the ball to teleport, that's basically like a, a tricky speed boost because you're going one direction, boom, you're going the other direction, and it's really impossible for the defenders to play, you know? This year, there's a lot of sliding in NBA 2K21. It's not as simple as just following somebody around. You kind of have to predict what they're going to be doing, and if you can be unpredictable with your moves, this thing is going to be super effective. Now, that being said, I know in the clips, you know, I was basically getting the best of my defenders but you can't just do that you know five six times in a row and expect them not to figure it out that's where you know kind of chaining this dribble size up into other moves comes in handy you know throwing a little behind the back throwing a little curry size up if you guys don't know how to do those moves i have videos on them i will link them in the description but yeah man derrick rose size up it's very, uh, it's not super flashy, you know, there's other ones in this game, say like Tim Hardaway Jr., which I'll be making a video on, where he kind of does a lot more, you know, dribble guy kind of dribbles. This one's a lot more simple, a lot more, you know, just boom, boom, go to the paint. And for being comp, you know, especially like if you're just trying to win, that's your main goal. This will probably be the best size up for you. And even if you just like, you know, you just like the, the teleportation, you know, speed boost, then this is definitely for you. Now, I'm going to show some gameplays me using it. Not just using it every play, but kind of how I use it in a game. This isn't my main size up, but I put it on for this video. You see, I'm going up against an all-star one. I'm an all-star two mid-range playmaker. I think he is a playmaking shot creator. So I do have the size advantage. But, you know, that doesn't mean as much as it would in other 2Ks, you know. Even though he's smaller than me, he's still going to be able to play pretty good defense in the paint. 2K made that possible this year, but boom, he's playing back. You guys saw in the clip, like I said, using the size up to my advantage. Quick stop, if you guys don't know, all you do is press L2 to stop on a dot. Now he's leaving me to the paint. That's kind of how it is, man. You can just play mind games with your opponent when you're doing this size up. Because it's not like you have to run, you know, just straight to the paint when you do it. You can just stop on a dot right there, boom. He is 
is playing back, man. I mean, what happens when you leave somebody open for a midi? You go to the paint. You, you go to the midi next time they go to the paint. It's almost like, you know, I'm just going back and forth with them. Now, I do mess that up right there. He sends me a party invite, you know, telling me, let him win. He needs his 1v1 rush leave. You guys already know how that goes. And boom, he's able to go to the paint on me and hit a layup on my six foot six playmaker. You hate to see it. I thought that was great defense, but I am here to play. I got to foul him, let him know it is not going to be sweet. It is not going to be easy. And uh, not going to lie, I thought I had the steal, but hey, 2K is blessing him. Sus, Joshy hits me with a couple curry slides. Three, four, drive to the paint. People love to rim run. He is dunking, looking like he is not a playmaking shot creator. If you guys didn't know, you know, you can dunk pretty well this year with just like a 60-something dunk. He goes up for another layup. It only said 11%. That could have honestly been another, another layup in for him. But thankfully, 2K rewards my defense finally. I get the ball back. Six to four, and it's time to go crazy. This guy has really not stopped me. I kind of messed up my movements that one play, so I got to do it again. Like I said, he is playing the paint. Hit him with a little slide right there. Now, I will say, you know, the the move looks more effective in park. You see, I hit him with a little up and under euro right there. In the 1v1 rush, it's kind of slidey on defense. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but the camera angle sucks. Your dude seems like he's just lagging. Everything feels delayed. It's just a very very weird uh very weird events but you see right there i get the reverse dunk like i said my build gets a 70 something driving dunk and uh, i definitely use that to my fullest effect if they just try to sit in the paint but they're too far away from the hoop i always get that good dunk animation shoot a little midi right there he's playing up curry layup package uh missed that one unfortunately but a super good layup if you guys haven't seen my video on the best layup package in nba 2k21 definitely go check it out i show how to really use that he's stuck in the paint like i said i see him too deep down He's not going to get a good contest unless he's in the right spot under the hoop. And I'm able to use my, you know, my height, you know, my little drop step, little post layup hook over him. Hit the little midi right there. It was a white, but it was just enough to get me super close to takeover. Now I only need, you know, a couple buckets. Going to get takeover right here. Hit him with a quick stop. Go again. Reverse dunk. Like I said, if I notice he's not in the right spot, I'm going to hit him with that. Now I got the sharp take. And you guys already know what it was. I haven't shot a three yet. But I'm going to end it with a three. Now, shut up. Why? Not the best look, but I did have sharp takeover. My three point is only in the 70s, so I cannot green every single shot. But I am able to hit that one wide. Now we got B locks right here. Slasher. I mean, that's not something you want to see in one of you on a rush. You see that? The first thing you're thinking of, oh, man, it's an interior finisher. He's just going to run to the paint and bop me every single play. I'm going to get dunked on. I'm going to have to quit the game just to save my uh my reputation you know i can't let somebody see that i got 22 old guy slasher and of course you guys see i'm still on my mid-range playmaker and uh he's a facilitating finisher so shout out to him you know you don't see a whole lot of facilitating finishers in the game you know joe knows that's his main popular build but most of the normal players didn't make one because the shooting is so tough but it's gonna be tough to stop i can't like i said he's got slash and takeover not sure if he has contact dunks yet, but he's just going to be able to go right through me. Like, so, like I said, right there, you know, 21% contested. That was a pretty good, decent contest, but he is a slasher. I got to give it to him. Same thing right there, 13%. I'm playing pretty good defense. He hit me with a Euro, you know. It's fine. Maybe he's got Hall of Fame acrobat. He just got good finishing. I'll give it to him. But right there, you know, finally, I got my steal. I had to get something right there. Can't let him keep cooking me with dunks. Now, I'm hitting him with a little bit of an inside layup myself you know gotta let him know it's not you know <laughs> this isn't his game to dunk i'm gonna be doing some dunking as well right there a couple of double behind the back i do have park dunks on between the legs look at my guess slasher myself and then now boom you know hit him with a little crossover you see i'm not always using the derrick rose size up right now i'm kind of using other uh other dribble moves to give me a speed boost i'm kind of saving it to be honest do a little behind the back right there hop step Dunk. If you guys didn't know, if somebody's super close to you, you won't actually get the big explosive behind the back. Uh, you see right here, boom, finally hit him with the Derrick Rose size up. He wasn't expecting it. He was thinking I was going to go the direction like I'd been doing, but I'm going to switch it up on him real quick. Left, super quick to the paint. Not a whole lot he can do. He's playing up, which, you know, same thing right there. You know, I go left and then boom, switch it to the right with the same size up. He's playing up. I mean... Most people let me shoot. It's kind of different when someone is actually playing good defense on me. So, shout out to him. Hit him with a little step back right there to the paint. You guys may think it's rim running, but in my eyes, I'm cooking this man. I'm not taking a shot that my build's not meant to, you know, hit every single time. Little double speed boost right there to the paint. 16 to 4. I mean, really, this dude is letting me go to the paint like crazy. He's not going to make me shoot once. 
I mean, come on. I was sitting in the paint on him. He's got to let me at least take one shot. At this point, I just need anything for sharp takeover, though. A little hop step right there. Could have been a, uh, you know, steal right there. A little bump body steal. Luckily, it gives me a foul. V-Lux. Now he's playing back a little bit. Like I said, man, Derek Rose size up. That is what it's best for. You know, you can do that around screens. You can do that for freeze. You can do that for middies. But now I got my sharp takeover. Will he let me shoot one like the last guy did? Nope, I got to drive. You know, just because I got sharp takeover, that does not mean I need to force the three. Four to 20. At this point, he's got to let me shoot, though. You know, better a three than a dunk. But look at this. Little step back behind the back. Filet. Get him out of here, man. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. This is time to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.